Hey guys, it's Karen Mara. Welcome to the channel. In today's video, we're going to be talking about GetResponse email marketing, specifically how to send out a broadcast message. And if this is your first time to the channel, welcome. This channel is all about affiliate marketing, how to make money online, how to make money from home. And I do a lot of product reviews on this channel as well, just to let you make an, an informed buying decision. And if those are topics that you want to learn more about, make sure you click the subscribe button and the bell icon. That way you can be notified when I upload new videos each and every day. With that being said, let's go ahead and get into GetResponse email marketing. We're going to go to your GetResponse. You're going to log in first. This is assuming that you already have an email list created. You're going to go to create newsletter. In here they call it newsletter and um, Aweber they call it broadcast, but it's the same thing. And you're going to go to draw, drag and drop email editor. And you're going to put your message name. This is just the name that will appear in the list of your messages, and it won't be seen by your subscriber. So I usually just put the same thing in the message name as I do the subject. And this is the subject line that your subscribers will see. I have some swipes here. I'm just going to take some, one of them here. And we're going to put in the subject, or the message name in the subject. This from should be, I recommend a domain name. So my domain name is caramara.com. So this is my email associated with that. It has better deliverability. Then you're going to click on next step. And I always choose this top one, start from scratch. And if you scroll down, I just do the blank template. And right here, you're just going to drag and drop. I, You just click on it, left click on it, and just drag it over. So we'll do the text block, because that's going to be where you're typing. And then I always put some sort of image, so you just drag this over. I like to put it at the bottom. Then I'm going to go to my swipe email here. Take this out of here and then just copy it. Huh, for some reason this all has didn't keep the spaces here. That's one thing is you want to make sure you don't have everything bunched together because it's a lot harder to read and people won't read it then. So let me just put some spaces in here. And then we're going to hyperlink it to whatever you want them to go to. So like right here, let's say you're in Funox ROI, you would go to links to promote. Now you don't want to link it to a lead capture page because they're already in your, uh, on your email list. So it would be something like, this is a direct link to the activation page. So like this one right here will be your affiliate link to the activation page. So you would just, Copy this, come over here, highlight where you want it to be hyperlinked to. So highlight this, then you're going to click on this little insert edit link, then put your URL where you want them to go, then click on OK. And same thing here. Just highlight that, click here put in the URL, and then OK. So that's the first part. Then you want to copy this whole thing here and put it into plain text. This is just in case they wouldn't get the HTML. And then, since you can't hyperlink in here, you would just take this this link you want them to go to and just insert it below wherever you 
it would have been hyperlinked in the HTML. This isn't. It's, you don't have to do this, but it helps the uh, deliverability. And then you just click on close. Then I'm going to put my image in here. Just click on this down here. I already have some loaded in here, but if you didn't, you would just upload the file and then you would find the image that you wanted to insert. So I'm going to put this one in there and it just is automatically inserted there. Then what you want to do is see what your spam score is. This one here looks like it's pretty good. Here, I'm going to be figuring out how to do this right here. If anyone knows how to do that, let me know. But uh, if I can get rid of this right here, then this is going to be a lot better as far as the spam score. But according to this, it's going to be delivered. So then I would recommend before sending this out that you send yourself a test message. So let me just check it here real quick. So you're just going to go and make sure that all the links go to where they're supposed to go to. Everything looks fine before you send it out. Yep, so that one did not go to my spam, so that's good. So we're just going to check out and make sure that this goes to the link that we want it to go to, which it did. And always make sure you check all of them. And both of them did. So then what you'll do is just click on Next Step. Then you'll pick whatever email list you want it to go to. You'll just... If you want it to go to all, you just click all, or let's just say you want it to just go to one of your list. So you would click whatever list you want it to go to, then you would click on next step. And then the last one is you would just click on send, or if you want to schedule it to go out at a different time, you can click on schedule and, and pick the time and the date. But that's basically it. Then you just click on send. So uh, I'm going to, in another video, I'll do how to set up a email follow-up series. So when someone opts in, they'll get these, they'll get email messages every day at a certain time. So I'll do that in another video. But I hope you guys found some value in this Get Response Email Marketing. If you did, go ahead and give me a thumbs up. Give me a like. If you have any questions whatsoever, leave them in the comments below this video. Also, if you want to learn my number one recommendations for making money online as well as offline and some incredible bonuses, those will be the first two links in the description below this video. You can check it out if you'd like. With that being said, this is Karen Merrill signing off, and I'll see you guys in the next video.